This is going to be a trip down memory lane for many people that uh, were in the Vancouver area in the 1980s. It's an old audio tape logged off of radio station CFMI. No music here, just the announcers and the commercials. Should be fun. And we can thank Mr. White Christmas Irving. Perhaps the best-known Christmas song from the former Beatles was originally released in 1971. John Lennon and Yoko Ono came up with an anti-war Christmas song. And the message still rings true all these years later. So this is Christmas. Happy Christmas, war is over. John Lennon and Yoko Ono with one of the most powerful of all modern Christmas songs. Next, on this Christmas discumentary, we continue our look at the more recent Christmas songs from Britain with music from the Kinks, Elton John, and much more. CFMI FM1, Vancouver. The shopping's done. The presents have been wrapped in anticipation of widely surprised eyes, and the smells of Christmas meals and treats waft through the house. There's nothing left to do but enjoy the good, warm feelings of family and friends during the festive season. The owners, operators, and employees of locally owned Super Value stores wish you and yours a safe, happy holiday and a prosperous new year. Please check your neighborhood Super Value for special holiday shopping hours. Super Value. Our name is our promise. I'm Dave McCormick, and our Christmas discumentary continues with music from Rolling Stone, Keith Richards, and his version of Run, Rudolph, Run, first made famous by Chuck Berry back in 1958. Run, run, Rudolph, run. Run, Rudolph, run. Keith Richard getting in the Christmas spirit in 1978. And Keith wasn't the only old-time British rocker to get in on the seasonal swing of things. In 1977, Ray Davies and the Kinks came up with a salute to the man with all the toys. Here in Canada, we call him Santa Claus, but in England, he is Father Christmas. Father Christmas, The Kinks, 1977, and a Ray Davies Christmas original. Many of the new breed of Christmas songs tend to come and go, with only the hardcore fans paying much attention to the music. That isn't the case with Elton John's 1973 Christmas song, Step Into Christmas, a song that went on to become number one on Billboard magazine's Christmas chart, and has turned out to be a perennial favorite on both sides of the Atlantic. Stamp into Christmas with Elton John creating a new old favorite in 1973. Still to come on our Christmas discumentary in Britain, music from Cliff Richard, Squeeze, and Greg Lake. I'm Dave McCormick, and this is a Christmas discumentary. <laughs> CFMI 101, Cable 105, Vancouver. Right before your eyes, your memories come alive. Road race set, two dolls, a hamster, and two stockings full of candy. And I got a picture of every present they opened. So let's get them developed at Japan Camera Center one hour photo, so we'll get them back right away. Giving you smile, memories, giving you color quality. <laughs> Here's one of you swinging your new golf clubs. And one of you with your new skis. Japan Camera Center one hour photo sure prints a great picture. Just look at that color. Right before your eyes, your memories come alive in just one hour. With all of these pictures of us and the kids. And their pets. <laughs> this Christmas will last a lifetime. Japan Camera Center, one hour photo. Great quality and service, plus reprints in just 20 minutes, too. Giving you time, memories, giving you color quality. Taking pride in what we do. Everything's for you. Japan Camera Center comes through. Capture the spirit of Christmas at Guilford. A Christmas discumentary continues with more of the modern Christmas sounds of Britain. Well, sometimes we all wish that the spirit of Christmas could stay with us all year long. And that's just the sentiment that Roy Wood had in mind when he wrote this Christmas song for his band, Wizard. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
I wish it could be Christmas every day. Roy Wood's Wizard. And a thought that crosses almost every mind during the peaceful and joyous feeling of Christmas time. Christmas is traditionally a time for family and friends. But more than anything, Christmas is a time for children. A fact that didn't escape Pete Townsend when he was writing songs for the rock opera Tommy. Did you ever see the faces of the children? Christmas with a who and a seasonal song from the rock opera Tommy. Many of the so-called new wave bands of the late 70s and early 80s tended to shy away from making Christmas music. But not all of them. Glenn Tilbrook and Chris Difford, the brains behind the group Squeeze, came up with this Christmas offering for the 1979 season. Mary and Joseph drove into town. Christmas Day. Squeeze. Feeling the spirit in 1979. And still to come on this British Christmas discumentary, music from Greg Lake, Cliff Richard, and Krista Berg. CFMI 101 Vancouver. Toast the Christmas season with some juicy deals from Safeway. Serve Bel Air orange juice, alone or in a holiday punch. The 355 mil container of frozen orange juice concentrate, now a low 99 cents. And don't run out of townhouse fancy tomato juice. The 1.36 liter tin, now a special 99 cents. Stock up for the festive season ahead. Remember, check your store for holiday shopping hours. And have a Merry Christmas from Canada Safeway, your Christmas neighbor. I'm Dave McCormick, and this is a Christmas Discumentary. We're looking at the more recent Christmas music from Britain, and this classic from Greg Lake. They said there'll be snow. I Believe in Father Christmas, Greg Lake's 1975 Christmas offering. Another Brit who came up with a rather unusual Christmas song was Chris de Berg, who came up with a Space Age interpretation of The Birth of Christ. A spaceman came traveling, Chris de Berg's modern-day interpretation of the birth of Christ. But not all modern Christmas music takes such a unique approach, and not all the new sounds of Christmas emanating from Britain are brand new. We'll end this documentary look at the modern Christmas sounds of Britain with Cliff Richard's updated version of O Little Town of Bethlehem, a song he prefers to call simply Little Town. And we wish everybody in your little town a very Merry Christmas. I'm Dave McCormick, and this is a Christmas Discumentary. And we have one more Christmas Discumentary coming your way at noon today on Motown Christmas. It's 10 o'clock. The news to 10 is brought to you by Eurodown. Here's Rosie Summers. Good morning. No white Christmas this year. We're expecting rain today and showers tomorrow. Right now, 2 degrees outside CFMI. The Mulroney government has given Christmas presents to more than 65 people in the form of appointments to federal boards and agencies. The full list of names was released this morning, and Wayne Brown highlights a few of them. The federal cabinet approved the long list of appointments last week, but the prime minister's office revealed only the names of three new senators and 11 new members of the board of Petro Canada. Now the full list is available, and it shows many appointments to the Parole Board, the National Energy Board, the Canada Council, the Science Council of Canada, and various port corporations. Singer Catherine McKinnon is one of three new members of the Canada Council. Former Ontario Federation of Agriculture President Ralph Berry is the new chairman of the Canadian Livestock Feed Board Advisory Committee. Former Tory MP Melvin McQuaid is one of 11 new members of the National Parole Board. And as well, Jeffrey Pearson, son of former Prime Minister Lester Pearson, becomes the first executive director of the new Institute for International Peace and Security. Wayne Brown on Parliament Hill. Manitoba is considering pulling out of participating in Expo 86 because it says $6 million is too much to spend on a pavilion. Expo chairman Jim Pattison says all governments are faced with choosing priorities for spending their shrinking revenue, but he doesn't think that Manitoba will stay away. They won't, uh, they won't pull out, but they may not spend as much money as they had intended. That's something they have to decide. We got, uh, we got the Northwest Territory spending $8 million on a pavilion. And uh, so when you have Northwest Territory spending $8 million in a pavilion, you got somebody else spending 
than three or twenty, or you know, that's going to uh, that's all going to be a factor in in their presentation to the public. Expo Chairman Jim Patterson, Education Minister Jack Heinrich has just made some changes to that committee set up to review education in BC. The month of January will be used by the committee to plan public meetings, communicate meeting times, and distribute material. Public meetings will be conducted in February, with the committee accepting briefs up until March 15th. Previously, this whole process was to take only five weeks. The committee's final report will be made available to the public. In addition, each school district will receive a $500 grant, plus 20 cents per pupil, to assist with expenses involved in conducting meetings and preparation of materials and advertising. Also, an additional public school teacher has been invited to join the review committee. He's Pat Brady, the president of the Prince George Local of the BC Teachers Federation. Marion Nielsen, a school trustee in Quesnel, and Harry Sayers, the superintendent of the Abbotsford School District, have been added to the committee to replace two others who earlier stepped down. Ian Jessup with the legislature. BC's chief coroner wants an apology from the chairman of Royal Columbian Hospital in U.S. Minster. Robert Galbraith is angry over comments made by hospital chairman Neil Russell, referring to the recommendations of an inquest jury which had looked into the death of a Surrey woman. Russell said the jury was just a group of lay people and the recommendations were motherhood issues. And Galbraith says the comments are a great disservice and Russell should apologize. Russell says he'll consider it, but his comments were not intended to be derogatory. A woman who traveled to Montreal for an abortion blames Ontario's Attorney General for the inconvenience she suffered when her appointment at Dr. Henry Morgenthaler's Toronto Clinic was cancelled because of a raid. She's considering sending a bill for travel and hotel expenses to the Attorney General Roy McMurtry. The woman is one of 15 Toronto area residents who had abortions in Montreal on Saturday. Soviet Defense Minister Dmitry Ustinov was buried in Moscow today. He was cremated last night. His ashes were brought to Red Square today in a formal procession. And noticeably absent from the ceremony was Soviet President Konstantin Chernyenko. A Soviet official says he seems to have taken ill. The long vigil is over. Actor Peter Lawford has died. Veteran actor Peter Lawford has died in a Los Angeles hospital at the age of 61. Lawford, who starred in movies and television, succumbed to liver and kidney failure following years of physical problems resulting from chronic alcoholism. Lawford starred in such movies as Ocean's Eleven, The Oscar, and The Longest Day, and was featured in the television series Dear Phoebe and The Thin Man. Lawford was best known as a member of Frank Sinatra's famed Hollywood Rat Pack, the suave group of stars which included Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr., a group which gained notoriety in the 50s and early 60s. Peter Lawford, dead at 61. Rob Navius, Los Angeles. That's our news to 10 o'clock, brought to you by Eurodown. The weather's next. Send in the next patient, please. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Ah, uh, Mr. Wilson, what seems to be the matter? Not seems, is. I can't sleep at night. I. Do you sleep on a Eurodown pillow? I didn't come here to discuss white sails. When I go to bed, my head hits my pillow with a clunk, and then I'm awake all night, worrying. My career, family, mortgages, male menopause, hair loss, you name it. Did you say a Eurodown pillow? Yes, Eurodown makes their pillows of the softest goose down from China or duck down or their own ultimate polyester fiber. So Eurodown pillows are springy but soft. They hold their shape and your head won't hit the pillow with a clunk. Goose down, eh? Are they covered by medical? No, with cotton. And Eurodown makes their own down pillows and quilts in B.C. Some even have five-year guarantees. What about my problems? Take two Eurodowns and call me in the morning. Sleep tight tonight on a big fluffy pillow from Eurodown in the Pacific Center and Coquitlam Center. At Eurodown, they're up on down. We've got clouds overhead and we're expecting occasional rain today. Rain tonight and tomorrow as well, tapering to showers tomorrow afternoon. Two degrees. News is next at noon with Maureen McMorrow. I'm Rosie Summers with Elio Day on CFM. Blackie's black. I want my baby back. Los Bravos at CFMI. And here's great old Savoy Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Bob Boving in the Saturday Night Oldies Party from CFMI 101. Well, sooner or later, love is going to get you. 11 o'clock with the grassroots. Honey, wild honey. That's the Beach Boys at CFMI. Remember this band, Smith, back in 1969? They uh, were kind of 
were sort of big, never really, really made it huge in North America, but a good band. Take a look around. Loving you ain't easy. Montreal's Michel Pagliero at CFMI, very Beatlesque sounding old single. And here's David Clayton Thomas and the Boss Man. We'll take a break and get back with uh, the Guess Who in Vancouver's Painted Ship uh, in just a moment. But I want to remind you uh, that uh, coming up 6 o'clock, New Year's Eve, uh, we at CFMI will uh, be getting bent right out of shape with a New Year's Eve oldies and dance party that'll uh, run until uh, 8 o'clock New Year's Day. All sorts of craziness around here with uh, your requests and uh, great dance music. So uh, if you haven't got a request in tonight, uh, well, feel free to do so because uh, we will... uh, uh, be jotting down your requests and doing our best to get them on uh, New Year's Eve for kind of a, a New Year's oldies party version. So uh, please uh, join us for that. 525 CFMI. You shoot up a snow covered hillside on your Yamaha snowmobile from GA Checkpoint. The cold, crisp winter air stings your cheeks. Freedom. GA Checkpoint has the keys to your winter freedom machines. Powerful, sturdy Yamaha snowmobiles starting at 250ccs. Six models to choose from. Choose yours today at GA Checkpoint Yamaha, Burnaby, Langley, Surrey, and Port Moody. Here's the Guess Who at CFMI. There's frustration. That's the painted chip. At 11.30 at CFMI, it's Good News Week. <laughs> Not likely. Here's the Hedgehoppers Anonymous. CFMI. Yes, the mountains high and the valley so deep. Dick and Dee, Dee at CFMI. We've got the Buffalo Springfield coming up right after this. You don't know what you're missing until you actually own an Akai Mobile video cassette recorder unit. This means you can tape all your favorite TV shows, enjoy new pre-taped movies and programs, or get the matching Akai video camera and produce your own programs. What a thrill! Akai takes the popular VHS format and delivers an easy-to-use Space Age product. This Akai is a super toy for the big kids. Drop into Kelly's. At Kelly's, we're on top of it all. CFMI. Yeah, rock me, baby, all night long. That's Steppenwolf at CFMI. Remember the great Jackie Wilson? Oh, your love has lifted me higher and higher. The oldies party at CFMI. Hoo-hoo, heavy-duty fellow. That's Al Wilson and the snake at CFMI. And the Rotary Connection. Was it Minnie Ripperton, I think, who sang lead vocal in this group? And a soul man. Coming to you. Well, that was about it for what was recorded on this tape. If I find some more of these old radio archive tapes, I'll post them up for you guys to listen to. I think some of the old commercials, the old broadcasts and stuff, the old newscasts from way back are interesting for any of the radio buffs out there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon.